So this is this is this is a big thing being uh, mentioned recently. The the universities, the colleges out there, people say you shouldn't go because of the debt, etc. And still, massive amounts of people still go. They still uh, are are just assuming this is what you do. Once you finish school, you then go to college. Once you finish school and go into that university, and and people get so caught up in that mindset that even if you explain to them it's a bad decision, they're still going to do it. And I'm not saying necessarily that it's always going to be a bad decision. But what I will say is if you have already went, if you're finishing, you're about to make some of the, the biggest changes in your life right now at this point. Because so many people get caught up in that lifestyle. You go to school, you go to college, you finish, you get a job, you get married, you have the kids, you get the house. This is your opportunity right now. If you, if you are just finishing, if you are just graduating, Right now is your opportunity to really think how you want to live your life. You've met, you may have just spent three, maybe set up to seven years, even maybe more. Maybe you're mastering more stuff. But let me tell you, those years are still very few compared to the, the, the rest of your life you've got ahead of you. And if it, if it has unfortunately been something you don't want to do, do not be the type of person that forces himself to work a job they do not like. But they stay at it for the rest of their lives with no uh, focus or determination to branch out in different directions. Because they, they say, well, I went to college or I went to university for this reason, so I'm going to stay here. I don't want to go out and do these other things, which I naturally wanted to do. As a kid, what did you want to do? What was your natural intentions? Before you were forced all of these, these different concepts by other people, what was your real intention? I want you to be able to find that for yourself where you know what you want to do, you know what you want to create. Because you're at the stage now where you have very little things holding you down. Once you start to go further in life and you make more decisions, more commitments, you've got the job, you have to stay at the job. You've got the, the wife, you've got to stay with the wife. You've got the kids, you've got to take care of the kids. You've got the house, you've got to pay the mortgage. You've got the cars, you've got to pay the cars off. You're planning the holidays and that's your life now. You're just thinking like that. That's a lot of commitments. Whereas you're free right now, you may not realize, you really might not realize how free you are. And I'm not saying those is, that's not the direction to go in. But I'm saying before you go for that, before you go for whatever it is, whatever it is, if it's different, similar, some things are similar and some things are different. Before you go for that, you make sure right now you figure out exactly what you want to go for. Not that you're following somebody else's plan. Not that you're following a teacher's plan, a, a counselor's plan, a, a parent's plan, a, someone that took care of you as a child's plan, nobody else's. I'm asking you for your fucking plan, the thing that you decide to do, because it's your responsibility to decide the direction that you go in in this lifetime. And this is your opportunity. The moment that you leave that university or you leave that college, this is the time you make the decision where are you going to go, where are you going to put your effort, where are you going to put your energies. Because the goal that you're aiming for is the direction you're going to go in. And if you're thinking get a job that falls in alignment with what you've just graduated with, if you're thinking all my friends are looking for the wife and the kids, or if you're a girl and you're looking for the man, etc. If that is what they're all going for and you're thinking about going for it, but you're just getting caught up in what the other people around you are doing, but it's not what you want to do. You could be making a, a, a less than the best decision. Why not go for the best decision? Because you do not want to look back and think that you had fucked up. You want to look back and say that was worth the extra effort and extra time to think ahead and know where I want to go. If you can take that and really utilize that information, you will be one of the few who has who's taken control of the direction of their life. And that will give you the opportunity to help more people get more of a, a determination in the direction they want to go rather than getting caught up with their surroundings and being distracted. Step up and realize the amount of responsibility you really need to have. And it's not enough to think I'm going to do this and that and go here. You need to get your whole life in order and make the decisions of where you want to go and stick to every single one of them. Step your game up. Apply what you heard in this video and you can really set yourself up for a far more successful life.